right, so here's a pretty rare find. This is actually a baby milk snake. Now, I don't, this is actually my life for milk snake. And yeah, this guy's very cool. He's very tiny, probably last year's born though, because he's not as white as many. But I'll flip the camera around and I'll tell you guys more about him. It's really cool. I actually found him underneath this log here, just hanging out. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. You guys saw he was trying to nip me, but he's too small to do anything. But it's still early in the morning, so this guy is just warming up. When I first picked him up, he was really cold, and he wasn't even moving. But, yeah, let's flip it around this way so it focuses again. But this is a really cool snake. I don't often find these around anywhere. Like I said, this is actually my life for milk snake. But these guys are awesome. Just that underneath patterning, if, you, if it lifts, if it focuses. Let's see from here. You see that checkerboard patterning underneath and that red and white? It's trying to pretend that it's a coral snake. But we, of course, know this is no coral snake. It's just a milk snake. There he's coming towards the camera. <laughs> Can't get on my camera. Though. But these guys are really cool. They're called milk snakes because for two reasons. When they're born, they're a lot more white. And they were also thought to go into barns and suck on cow's udders and get the milk. Yeah, let me turn them around so you can see better. So farmers used to think that they came in and drank their cow's milk, but in reality, they were just in there eating the rats and the mice that infested their barns. But awesome little guy. So this here is actually a coastal plains milk snake, which is only found around the coast of New Jersey, Maryland, and a few other places. But this guy is absolutely awesome. And with this being my life for milk snake, having it be in your coastal is even cooler. So now that this guy's warmed up a bit, he's gonna be moving back on in his way to find another log. But yeah, so. And this guy just, the colors of that snake moving are amazing. But underneath that branch he goes. All right, so here's a cool find. These are turtle shells. Well, they were turtle shells. So these are all dried up, but I'm gonna guess this is Diamondback Terrapin because we're right by the bay. Even though this is freshwater, they do live in freshwater as well. But yeah, so these are all dried up pearl eggs. And this is probably where all the babies hatch out. So that's pretty cool. Then yeah, I'll go on my way. Maybe I'll find a baby turtle or an adult. All right, because I've seen this guy before, I'll keep this clip a little quicker. But this is another leopard frog. And this guy has a lot cooler colors than the last one. I'll admit he's a lot greener. There's actually another one right in there. If I can zoom. Oh, he got it. But I'll show that after this guy. But you see this guy's a lot greener. But yeah, as I said in the last video, they do like jumping into the brush. But there's another one over there. There's a green frog over there. Let's see if I can get one in the clip. There goes a leopard frog. There's a green frog, if you guys see that. Yeah. Well, like I said, ditches. They are really good for frogs around here. And they're are a bunch of tadpoles in here as well. But I'll continue on this hike and show you guys if I see anything else. All right, so here's a big male green frog. And he's lighter colored than the ones I find up north. 
you'll often see with many species of animals that depending on the habit they'll turn a different color so you see here this is actually where i found him it's a lot murkier and yellower so he's more of a yellow than a green color so he can hide easier but yeah so i'll let the little guy go